gonna kind of just wait for people to join and um, get things started. Um, where is everybody watching from? You want to say hi? And by the way, throughout this, if you want to ask any questions at all or anything like that, um, I will try to get to people's questions and all of that. Um, as we go through, just like every week, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stories. Hi! Some of the stories that I, um, that I wrote this week and allow people the chance to um, ask questions. So, um, yeah. Um, all right, that's great. All right, so I'm going to get started now. We have some people on and more people joining. You know, you just can jump in and ask questions as it goes on. Um, I guess I will start with um, the piece that I just uh, wrote today. It just came out on National Review Online. Um, it's about how um, a music critic for the New York um, Review of Books wrote a piece about the Beach Boys and how the Beach Boys are problematic. Um, and one of the reasons that they were problematic is that they have beach privilege. This is a direct quote from the article. Um, Time and social change have been rough on the Beach Boys. Looking for the Beach Looking for the Beach Boys is the name of the piece. Their best known hits say, California girls, help me Rhonda, I get around, are poems of unenlightened straight male privilege, white privilege, and beach privilege. First of all, there is pretty obviously no such thing as beach privilege. I feel like everybody, regardless of class or any other signifier has been to a beach or at least has had the opportunity to go to a beach nobody it's it's not like you go to the beach and it's only super rich people on the beach it's pretty um you know there's no class specified um but basically this author's his name is um ben ratliff his problem with it is that they don't discuss major you know social issues and they've never had you know had uh, helped anybody, quote, towards self-determination or achieving their social rights. There are a lot of musicians out there that talk about, you know, social rights and social problems and all those kinds of things. Um, the Beach Boys don't, and that's good. That's, you know, it's not good to do or not do, but it's totally good to have bands out there that don't do that. People aren't listening to the Beach Boys because they're looking, you know, they're trying to find, you know, discussion of social problems in the music. They're doing it because it is part of music, because it doesn't talk about those kinds of issues, because you know how weird it would be to be, like, at a beach party and drinking a margarita and listening to music that was about, like, hunger and bigotry and death? Like, that's, nobody wants to do that, and that's perfectly okay. Um, it, that's why that music exists, and, you know, we... There are problems out there. It's good to acknowledge them. It's good to work towards solving them. But we can't all just be sitting around thinking about the problems of the world all day long. Because then we would all want to be dead. It's sad. And it's good to forget about them sometimes and just have a happy-go-lucky fun time. The only way to ever move past problems sometimes is to forget about them for a little bit. That's not a bad thing. That's a help, helpful thing. Yeah, yeah, Francisco, but oh my, now you have to think about social issues to be able to make music. Right, exactly. Sometimes... You don't want to talk about issues. Sometimes you just want to party, especially if you're somebody who's going through a lot of issues. Fun. Fun is not bad. Fun is good. It's fun sometimes can help you forget about your problems. Forgetting out your problems is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, pretty ridiculous. That one just went up a few hours ago. If you haven't seen it yet, if you want to um, go to National Review Online and check that out uh, whenever, you can totally do that. 